Good evening and welcome to our show. Let's talk about history. Today's show is about the Middle Age that happened between the centuries 5 and 15. Also, this period of time is now an obscurantism. There's a lot of controversy, controversy because since the fall of Roman Imperial to the born to the hierarchy king who takes the control of all the kingdom, the clergy, nobility, Nanks, Bourdieu's, farms, and vassals. They made business with the practice that it called Barnard system. It happened between the centuries 5 and 10. It was dominated by three empires, Byzantine, Islamic, Carolingian. At the low middle age, it split between the centuries 11 to 13. Characterized by the expansion of the feudal system, the birth of the burgesses and new power institutions, the Middle Age crisis at the last two centuries made that age end the row. The religions most the Catholic was involved in and they became an important part of the Middle Age history that actually still leads some institutions, countries, and cultures. There's a moment of the Middle Age story called the Holy Inquisition. At this time, the church murdered the people that dangered the religion, witches, wizards, scientists, etc. Because the king gave them some power over the people of the kingdom. Another thing to tell is that they forgot and forgive that sins of the people if you pay for it, it means you have to pay money for your life. Now we have a famous character that tells us how life was at the Middle Age. With you, Dante Alighieri. Hello, thank you for your invitation. You're welcome. Well, we know that at this age, the art was at its boom. And you know, today we recognize it and we love it. But now I want to highlight your famous novel, The Divini Comedy. Yeah, this novel, as you know, it's about a knight who is in a journal to find his lover. But it's in a normal journal because it is at the inferno. We got this kind of literature because we use the knight as a hero and the release is so notorious. We base our characters with real people. You know, like Miguel de Cervantes with Don Quixote de la Mancha. And another thing to say is we used to write a lot of, of medieval, clergy, singers, and romantic literature. So, tell us about how was the style fashion from this age. What were the clothes they used to use? Well, the men used to use long socks and robes. The noblemen used jackets, shoes, and pants to the knee. The men and women from noble families used jewelry and animal skins. The women used to use long dresses with robes and no sleeves and a king of veils. When it is winter, they use gloves and heads made from the chips skin. And the and the painting, how was that? We usually made paintings using the Gothic style because we took the religion seriously. I could name a lot of artists, but the representative is Miguel Angel with the painting of the Capilla Sixtina and two, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. How was the structure of the furniture and the houses? At the Middle Age, we had three styles to use at our homes and the structure of our houses. These styles are the Gothic, the Romantic, and the Byzantine. And usually we made our furniture with wood. That was amazing. Thank you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, Dante Alighieri. Thank you at all. To close, we made a little summary. First of all, we noticed that at the Middle Age, their way to think, dress, culture, etc. was dominated by religion. While actually the religion loses their power, 
at the freedom to think about anything it's possible without killing you. <laughs> so be grateful for humans' rights and see you later, my friends.